Welcome into the PFF 50, brought to you by Tavor. We know you love football, and at PFF, we deliver insights you won't get anywhere else. And if you love beer, you need to check out Tavor. They deliver the world's best and hardest to find craft beers right to your doorstep. You choose how much, how often, and what style. Just go to Tavor.com and get $10 in beer money after spending your first $25 when you enter promo code PFF50. All right, Sam, we're down to 31 to 40 in the PFF 50. Let's just remind everybody what exactly the PFF 50 is as we look forward to the 2019 season. Yeah, bottom line is the PFF 50 is the best 50 players in the NFL heading into the 2019 season. Forget value, forget how important the position is, forget how replaceable the position is. These are just the best 50 players, regardless of position in the league right now. And we've graded every player and every snap, so we know who the best players are. Let's get to number 40. It is Zach Martin from the Dallas Cowboys. Maybe the best guard in the league, especially when you factor in the you know pass blocking, run blocking, just all around. He is fantastic. He was the number seven pass blocker last year, number three run blocker, and we're talking multiple years of excellent play. He's the number one graded guard when you just add the last two years. So Zach Martin, unbelievable at his position and at number 40 here in the PFF 50. Number 39, we got Russell Wilson, quarterback obviously for the Seattle Seahawks and something of a polarizing figure throughout the league. There are a lot of people that are Russell Wilson detractors, but really you just have to look A, at the PFF grade, because obviously that's the best way of measuring these things, but also some of the numbers out there, because since he came into the NFL, he's number four in big time throws. He's number one in big time throw rate over that kind of period of time. So Russell Wilson makes a ton of plays for the Seahawks and has often done it behind a less than ideal offensive line. Yeah, Wilson's been fantastic. Of course, quarterbacks aren't overvalued in this list. That's why he's coming in at number 39. Thank you for letting me talk about Derwin James. He's at number 38, one of the best all-around players in the league. He's great at safety stuff and non-safety stuff. We'll talk about that in a second. But last year, as a rookie, the showing the ability to play in and around the line of scrimmage had 40 stops. That was number two in the NFL, but also on the back end, three interceptions, six pass breakups, and then that's the, the non-safety stuff. He also had 19 pressures. That was number two among all safeties. So he can really do it all. Coverage, play the run, rush the passer, Derwin James. He's not a safety, he's just a superstar, Sam. That's what we call him. I like it. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. Number 37, we've got Kenny Clark for the Green Bay Packers. Recently, we just released our video of defensive line prototypes, the kind of player you want for each position along that defensive line. And Kenny Clark is the new prototype for the nose tackle because gone are the days where those guys in the middle can only defend the run, bring nothing as a pass rusher. Kenny Clark can rush the passer and do it at an extremely high level. And when you look at his PFF grades throughout his career, we've gone from 75 to 89 to 91, we're just getting better and better and more and more dominant. Kenny Clark is an absolute force in the middle of that line for the Packers, and he may not be done getting better. Yeah, he's improved every year as the numbers show. Let's get to number 36. It's Alvin Kamara. He's the number one running back over the last two years as far as PFF grade goes, and he is graded well in the right areas. He is a receiving weapon. He had the number three receiving grade as a rookie in 2017, and then number two last year, all including the playoffs. And, you know, the Saints use him extremely well. It's not just a whole bunch of screens and underneath stuff. He can also run the wheel route, line up out wide. The Saints know how to use his versatile skill set. He's one of the most difficult running backs to tackle in the NFL. If you guys play fantasy, you obviously know about Kamara's value. But just on a down-to-down -down basis, he's the top running back on the PFF 50. Number 35, I think, is a great example of a guy who's previous PFF grade might not put him this high, but it's what we expect him to be heading into the 2019 season. Miles Garrett up here at number 35. He was a number six ranked edge rusher last year when it comes to PFF pass rushing grade. He had 67 total pressures, but if you listen to the stories coming out of Cleveland, he did that being only allowed to do essentially two pass rushing moves within Greg Williams' defense. Now he's got more help along the defensive line. He's gonna have a, an expanded repertoire of moves to use. We might finally see the true peak of Miles Garrett's potential unleashed on the 2019 season, and that's what's gonna propel him up to 35. A freed Miles Garrett next year. Coming in at number 34, we have Keenan Allen, wide receiver from the Los Angeles Chargers. There's a lot of big name receivers around the NFL, and I think people forget just how good Keenan Allen is. He was number six last year with his 89.3 grade. 
but 91.3 over the two-year span. That's number four in the NFL. He is a great route runner, and he's great, just a magician against press coverage. And I think that's what separates him from so many other receivers. It's just that ability to get open at the short and intermediate level. He's solid after the catch as well. So Keenan Allen, well-deserving of number 34 on the PFF 50. Number 33, we've got a player that we may be underselling at number 33 because J.J. Watt is finally starting to get back to somewhere near the player that J.J. Watt was before he got those injuries. And last season, he was the number two edge rusher in terms of PFF grade, also number two in total pressures. He ended up at 74 of them. That trailed only D Ford amongst edge rushers last year. We're starting to see J.J. Watt get back to his best. And if he gets back even further, if he takes another step towards the player that he used to be a few years ago, I mean, really peak J.J. Watt would end up probably number two on this list. Oh, so man. let's see where he goes. There was a debate about him and Donald as the best player that we've seen, and now we've got Watt sitting there at number 33. He was truly special in his prime. Let's get to number 32. It's Demarcus Lawrence from the Dallas Cowboys, kind of the opposite of J.J. Watt. He broke out in 2017. The big question going into last year is could he duplicate that career year? And he pretty much did. PFF grade of 88 is fantastic. 152 pressures over the last two years. That is a huge number. And, you know, Lawrence has shown that he is truly one of the best pass rushers in the NFL right now. And, you know, he's been a big key to Dallas's defensive success. So Demarcus Lawrence, a big success story over the last couple of years, coming out of nowhere to be number 32 as we head into 2019. Number 31 on the list, we're going to end up with Deion Jones from the Atlanta Falcons. Deion Jones is arguably the best coverage linebacker in all of football. His uh, 2017 coverage grade, the second best coverage grade we've ever seen from a linebacker. Only Luke Keekley has one season that's better than that. But that's the kind of level we're talking at with Jones. When they lost him from that defense, it made a huge difference to everything they do on the back end. He went through a sequence in that 2017 season where he was single-handedly winning games for them late in the day. So Deion Jones back 100% healthy for that Falcons is a top, top player. So there you have it. There's 31 through 40 in the PFF 50. Be sure to check out the other videos as we make it through the entire list. The PFF 50 brought to you by Tavor. <laughs>